All right, now to get all the bolts started in place, torque them all down to manufacturer's specifications. All right. See this little springy thing? That's the threads that used to be in that hole. I was torquing the bolt down. Uh, I don't think it was the whole inner primary was quite seated. It popped. It took the threads with it. There's still about a half inch of thread in there, so I could have the option of drilling in further and then run a bomb tap in there, and then I would have about a half inch of threads, which is, they say 125% of your bolt diameter is the minimum amount of thread engagement you need. But it would be kind of close. It probably actually be a little under 125%. We have some extra meat, so we're gonna go to the next size up. In this case, it's gonna be going from 5 16 18 to 3 16 16. Sorry, like 3 8 16. Listen to what I think I'm saying. Yeah, 3 8 16. So anyways, so here's how this works. I come around the other side. So for every tap size, there's an appropriate drill that you have to drill the hole out to if you're making new threads. And that's going to be about 75% of your thread diameter, your final diameter is your tap drill size. Or you can use a tap drill chart or Google it. In this case, it's a 5 16 bit for 3 8 16. So we're going to take this and we're going to line the thing up. We have a nice sharp new drill bit here. Don't use some crappy chip junk. Now, we don't want to actually drill into the case any further than the depth of the hole. So we're going to use a really light pressure. We're going to just let the drill bit do the work. It's aluminum. It's soft. Don't want to get carried away. Just whoosh, nice smooth in. Let the drill bottom out. As soon as you can feel it bottom out in there, pull it back out. Here we go. You see that? I think so. Mm, see that? Yeah. Made a nice thump down in there. We're going to take our shop line here. Along with the camera. We're going to look down there and see what that looks like. All right. Bear with me here. We're going to go a little sideways. If you can see that back in there. See where it is now drilled out. You see that little shiny spot dead center. That's where the tip of the drill bit just barely touched the back side of the hole. So we know we we're already all the way in there, but we didn't make any new, didn't drill in any further than we have to. Actually, now that I'm looking at this, I realize that is actually the oil pan that's behind that. And this is a boss that hangs down. You can see this here. Hopefully you can. See, I can actually go behind that. So we're actually doing it through a hole. So it was nice and easy there. Uh, and when it cleans up with the tap, it'll be nice and easy because it'll actually run all the way through. So it turns out we didn't actually have that additional thread depth. Um, it was just fully stripped out. So it's a good thing we're going up a size. So hopefully I'm making anybody seasick there. It's pretty hard to keep a light on this and everything. All right, so first thing we're going to do, use a starting tap. See how this has a taper there on the end of it? Okay, so that's for starting the thread. So, and also if you're wondering what size it is, I don't know if you can see on this one because the print's not great, but it should say right on there, 3 8 16. Let's use this one. This one's nice and clean. Let me move the lighting a little bit here. Bear with me. Trust me, it's there. It says 3816 on there. You can kind of see the writing, but it is written on there. I'm not the best cameraman, I apologize. So, we're going to take our starter tap and put it in our tap wrench here. Alright, so we got our tap right here. Now we're going to start this in here. That's a terrible angle. 
All right, so right there. So what I was told is, I'm gonna show you if you're new to this, you start with three quarters of a turn in, quarter turn back out. That quarter turn back out will break the chips off. So nice light touch. Want to make sure it's nice and straight. Take your time with this. Patience is the utmost importance. Okay, there we're biting in. So three quarters of a turn in. Back out a quarter turn to break the chip. And go in, you know, go back to where you stopped. Three quarters of a turn more. Back out and break the chip. So we're gonna keep doing that. Whoops, sorry. All the way in there until it bottoms out. And I'm doing this dry because sometimes the aluminum gums up. So we're gonna and it's a through hole. So we're in there pretty good. So we're actually gonna back it out. We're gonna check it out here. Okay, tap looks good. Hole looks nice and clean. We're gonna go back in here. Right there it stops. You don't want to force this. If it starts binding up or gets tight, you definitely want to stop. It's breaking through the other side. I can feel it now. That's just kind of an experience that allows me to feel that. So we're still going to go all the way in until it stops. What should be when the tap actually goes through and hits the oil pan on the other side. Right there it hit. So we're going to back it all the way out. Now I don't know if that taper, if the full diameter of the thread actually made it all the way through or not. Because that oil pan is so close behind it. So from there, we take take that there, and we take our bottoming tap. You see on the bottom of this tap how there's very little taper to where the threads start. Move that light a little bit. All right. So you see with this tap, it's kind of bleach on the screen. So there's a very small little taper of this tap. The end of it. Oops, some crap and threads there from the last project. All right. So now we got that all, that all the way through. We want to take our bottoming tap. And if you can see this, the camera doesn't want to focus because we're really close here. Um, there's very little taper at the end of the threads down here. Uh, so that means we're going to hit like full diameter right away. So you can't actually start a thread with this. If you don't have enough taper, it'll be too much load on there, but it's good for getting those last few threads at the bottom of a hole and clean up a hole. So put this in our tap wrench. And again, we're going to thread this in there really light. Really light touch. And we'll, might feel it bind up on the last couple threads and cut out of there. And cut the threads out, or it might go all the way through. Oh, there's a few threads left there. Clean up. The light up here again so I can see it from behind. And from the side, I can see that the tap actually made all the way through and it's touching the oil pan. So we're going to back this sucker all the way out of there. and smooth. Ta-da! There you have it. Take a little compressed air. Blow it out. Get your Corona all over it. There you have it. Hopefully you can see that down in there. Uh, there. Hopefully you can see the new threads down in there. And uh, take some compressed air and blow them out clean. Now the last thing to do is over here on the bottom of the primary we're going to go to a 3 8 bolt. Actually, we're going to go up one size, and we're going to drill out the inner primary of that to give clearance for that 3 8 bolt. All right, let's see my mess I got going on down here on the lift. Um, so we have a drill bit. This is actually 377. The 3 8 is 375, so we're actually only going with 2,000 oversized clearance. But it should be good. We don't have a lot of meat, so we don't want to take any more material than we have to. So we're going to start with this, and again, we're going to hold on to the drill bit tight because we're not taking a lot of metal off. So it's going to want to grab the uh, aluminum primary. So have a friend here. Hold down the primary. 
nice straight through right back out Ta -da! we now have a 3 8 hole all right last but not least take a little brake clean that was a terrible way to do that last but not least take a little brake clean Pressed air works too Make sure you get all the chips out of there. You don't want that shit swirling around in there. Probably would have been a better way to clean it out without the uh, without using the brake clean, but whatever. Too late now. There we are. Look at that. Wasting perfectly good brake clean. Yeah. The thing's on sale. So, there you have it. 